In this video, we're going to look at how to enter data and formulas into cells. You can enter data as in numerical data or text data or even date and time data very easy into cells once you know how. First of all, you need to select the cell that you want to put the data into. For example, I have selected cell A1, which we can see from the cell address from the name box. Now, once you have a cell selected, if you just type something in, it will go into that cell. When you press enter, it will accept what you've typed into the cell and it will move down one. We can then, for example, enter our next item. Now, as I said, we can enter numbers and we could enter time. So they're just some examples of text that you can enter. Now you can edit text as well, very easy, by if you select the cell in which you want to edit the text and press F2. And you'll see when you press F2, the cell goes back into edit mode. So the cursor goes back into the cell. So you can then update the cell with the required changes. Now to delete the contents of a cell or cells, select the cells and just press delete. Now we see in here that we entered the data directly into the cells, but you can also enter data directly into the formulas bar. So once you have a cell selected, you can enter data into the formulas bar by just typing it in. So that's entering data, but what about entering formulas? Well, when you're doing a formula in Excel, it always begins with equals. It doesn't matter if you are entering it into the formulas bar or if you are going to type it directly into the cell. A formula always begins with equals. So let's type in equals here. And we can go ahead and we could type in a formula such as a basic arithmetic 5 plus 10 and it will give us 15 and return the value for the calculation very quickly. We can do all of the basic arithmetic formulas in this sort of manner. There's a minus, we can do a divide or we could do a multiply. Now when you type values into a formula like this, that's called hard coded. You can also create formulas or calculations from numbers that you have contained in other cells. For example, we have equals to start a formula and we could select cell A1 and we could take away cell B1 and hit enter to accept the formula. Now don't forget you can press F2 to go back into edit mode if you made a mistake. So that is referencing cells in formulas. So we went through some basic arithmetic there, but there are also some basic formulas. The sum function will add all numbers together. The average function will get the average of numbers. The count function will count numbers. So we can take a look at our formulas if we wanted to put in the sum formula in our formulas bar if we typed in equals sum. And then we put in, press tab to accept that. It will then give us screen tips of what the formula actually wants. So it wants a number, so we can put in a number. And then we'll see that is separated by a comma. And then it wants a second number. Now, in this case, we don't have a third number. We can close the bracket and hit enter. And that is the sum function. Now you can always find functions by pressing this F button here for formula. And you can select then different categories, most recently used all, for example. And then you can type in what you're looking for and press OK, press go. And it'll find that particular function. When we say OK to that, it then gives us a function arguments. So in here, we can quickly select the cells that we want. So number one, we can have in as A1. Number two, we could have in as B1. And if we had other cells, we could press the other cells and say OK. 
We could do the same, for example, with average. So we could change that to all, and then we can type in average. And we can select this average function. And the average is looking for, now it's already taking both cells. It's recognizing that both cells could be what the formula is for. But we can select individual cells, A1 and B1. And it will construct the formula for us and return the value. So that's the basics of entering data and entering formulas into Excel.